Welcome to the Outdooraholic channel. My name is Nathan. On this episode, we got a really cool two day trip from El Paso, Texas, riding with the El Paso hog chapter, going out through West Texas, southwestern New Mexico, and into eastern Arizona. We're going to ride through the Gila National Forest, Apache National Forest. We're going to do a little hike at the Catwalk Recreation Area outside of Glenwood, New Mexico. And we're going to end our day in Springerville, Arizona, up in the White Mountains. Springerville is situated right on US Highway 191 and is the start or end, depending on which way you're coming from, of the historic Coronado Trail. It was originally designated Route 666 and called the Devil's Highway. It's since been renamed US 191 and kind of traces the route of Coronado. So they changed the name to the Coronado Trail. Our plan originally when we first came up with this trip was to ride 191 south from Springerville down to Maruncy. However, at the time of our trip, at the end of June, there was a forest fire and they had to close 191 in the middle. So we do get to ride a little bit of 191 uh, from Alpine up to Springerville, but nothing south of Alpine. So a quick spoiler alert, at the beginning of the trip, the weather was perfect for the first day and a half. And at the end, we got into some crazy, crazy storms, rain, high winds, hail, sandstorms and eventually we had to pull over under an overpass so i hope you guys enjoy this video and follow along with our adventure from el paso texas to springerville arizona This ride was hosted by the El Paso chapter of the Harley Davidson Owners Group, and we had 13 motorcycles on our ride, 12 Harleys, and one BMW. We left El Paso and rode west on Interstate 10 until we got to Deming, New Mexico. Then we got on US Highway 180 and headed north, which starts out real flat and deserty, and we worked our way up through the towns of Hurley and Bayard as we got into the foothills and made our way up to Silver City where we stopped for lunch. Once you get north of Silver City, that's where it really starts to get scenic as you get up into the mountains of the Gila National Forest.
Yeah. It's cool, yeah. <laughs> and it's not even that far, it's just a short walk. And you know what? There, there is more shade than Look, that's the pool they were talking about. That's deeper than I thought it would be, too. After the town of Glenwood, most of the group pushed north to Springerville, but a few of us wanted to take a little bit of time to explore the Catwalk Recreation Area in the Gila National Forest. It's a really neat area that dates back into the 1890s when gold and silver mining was taking place in the Mogollon Mountains. In the mid-1930s, the Civilian Conservation Corps rebuilt the catwalk, and then it was destroyed in 2012 and rebuilt again. It's a really neat place just to get out and walk and stretch your legs. It's really beautiful and pretty neat to walk along the catwalk above the water uh, in Whitewater Canyon. When we left the catwalk recreation area, it was just five of us on three motorcycles, and we decided to pick up the pace and try to catch up to the rest of the group in Springerville, riding through the Gila and Apache National Forests. It was pretty overcast, but luckily we missed all the rain, just a few sprinkles here and there, and it was a nice break from the heat earlier in the day. We also got to see some cool wildlife, including several herds of elk along the way. The town of Springerville is located within the White Mountains of Arizona, and it was incorporated as a town in 1948. However, the town actually started back in 1876 and kind of grew around Henry Springer's trading post. You guys probably know the name Ike Clanton. He was present at the shootout at the OK Corral, and we mentioned him when we did our ride through Tombstone, Arizona. I'll throw a link to that video up above. But outlaw Ike Clanton was shot and killed in Springerville in June of 1887. When we arrived in Springerville, we got to the hotel, got checked in, and then went over to get dinner at the XA Bar and Grill. 
the XA was established back in 1949. And we were told by the bartender that John Wayne used to frequent the XA back when he was alive and had a ranch called the 26 Bar Ranch in the neighboring town of Edgar, Arizona. The next morning started off a little bit chilly, but it was a beautiful day, no more overcast skies. We had blue skies and sunshine. And our ride going south on 191 and through 180 all the way down to Silver City was the most scenic ride of the trip. Extremely beautiful. As we rolled into Silver City, New Mexico, we could see some dark storm clouds in the distance. And that was the beginning of a whole different part of the trip that just got worse and worse and worse, as you will see. So we stopped in Silver City for lunch. We had lunch at the Little Toad Creek Brewery and Distillery, which was a really cool place and a really old building. While we were there, it started raining. And we all donned our rain gear and got back on the bikes after a good meal. In the beginning it was just rain, kind of off and on. It would rain for a little while and we hit a clear spot and then it would rain for a little while and we hit another clear spot. But then progressively it started getting worse and worse.
making it through the wind and the rain and the hail and the sandstorms, we thought we were through the worst of it. Got a little break of blue skies and then we saw the mother of all storms up ahead. We got into some driving rain and high winds coming in from the side and decided to pull over under an overpass to seek shelter. It turns out even the overpass couldn't provide much shelter with the way the rain was coming in sideways. However, it did help a little bit and we waited out the worst of the storm. It's pretty crazy how bad it was and that it kept escalating and getting worse and worse even after we were under the overpass, as you'll see. Luckily, nobody got hurt. All the bikes were okay without any damage and we were all in good spirits when we made it out of there. This is definitely the kind of trip that we won't forget. We were talking later on when we made it to Las Cruces and saying, you know, 10 years from now we'll be doing a ride and talking about this Springerville trip and the weather that we encountered and survived. So to me that's kind of an important thing is keeping your spirits up even as miserable as it was. We were all wet and muddy but we still kept our good attitudes as you'll see with all the smiling faces even while we were under the overpass but especially once we got out to Las Cruces. How about that weather? <laughs> All these smiling, dirty faces. <laughs> gas station Las Cruces we were still about an hour hour and a half from home and it still continued to rain we still had to deal with the winds and blowing sands as we made our way back to El Paso altogether we did almost 700 miles over the two days driving through Texas New Mexico and Arizona going through the Gila and Apache National Forests and surviving thunderstorms wind storms sand storms and hailstorms it was a great trip definitely one for the record books Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. We really hope you enjoyed it and hope that you'll join us for the next one.